He protected Britain during World War II, but today it was our wartime leader being kept from harm. Ahead of protests planned this weekend, the bronze sculpture of Winston Churchill on Parliament Square was encased in a box. That painstaking process took place overnight. Today, our present Prime Minister condemned those who would attempt to inflict such vandalism. The statue of, of Winston Churchill has had to be boarded up uh, for fear of violent attack. And that, to me, is both absurd and, and wrong. What's happened with these, these demonstrations is that a tiny minority, or actually a growing minority, unfortunately, have hijacked them. Today, activists from Black Lives Matter unveiled this billboard in central London. Within those final words uttered by George Floyd, the names of 3,000 others who died in police custody, prisons or racist attacks. As the PM said he understood the outrage but urged people to stay away from protests, this organiser told me it showed inconsistency. Talk is cheap. Uh, Boris Johnson will say he backs the campaign in word, but he has done nothing in deed. And we've seen no indication he's going to do anything different as Prime Minister. This afternoon, a few hundred protested in London's Hyde Park. But organisers postponed this weekend's official demos, saying far-right groups had threatened their safety and could even carry out violence under their banner. They have a different agenda. They're working to a completely different agenda. So this violence that we're seeing in these protests are not carried out by the legitimate protesters. But whoever vandalised this statue of Scottish King Robert the Bruce claimed to do it in the campaign's name. The latest attack in the row over what our statues represent. Julian Drucker, 5 News.